round the turn with P.H. Catman, Lucky Alberta, Fittipaldi, Bella the Band, Albert James Albert, Twilight Charm, Nellie's Paradise, and Clover Hills Dot. A field of eight, behind the gate. Here they come. They're off, and the final card of 2010 is underway. Lucky Alberta on the inside, going out for that early lead. In the middle of the track, now going uh, to challenge that leader, Albert James Albert. And Albert James Albert now grabs command by a length. Lucky Alberta racing in second. Fittipaldi has come away in third. Twilight Charm races in fourth. Fifth on the outside as they make their way down the back stretch. That's Bella the Band. P.H. Catman looks at it from six and comes. Nelly's Paradise and your early trailer is Clover Hills Dot. The opening quarter was in 30 and 1 fifth. Albert James Albert with Mark Haig. They lead it by a length and a quarter. Lucky Alberta racing in second. No one moving just yet with Fittipaldi remaining inside in third. On the outside of now first over, that is Bell of the Band. Racing in fifth and taking a look to the outside, Twilight Charm. And comes Nellie's Paradise, P.H. Catman, and the trailer, Clover Hills Dot. The half was in 101 and four fifths. It is Albert James Albert taking this field on into the turn for the five eighths mile marker they race. Lucky Alberta under tight rein in second. Third on the outside, Bell of the Band down the back stretch for the three quarter mile mark they race. And Albert James Albert maintaining that lead. Racing in second, Lucky Alberta starts to look for racing room. Bell of the Band has improved to be third. They uh, race past the three quarters in 133 and one and Albert James Albert now asks for a little bit more from Mark Haig. Lucky Alberta will get that coveted racing room from second. Bell of the Band has Twilight Charm pinned fourth on the rail as they pass the seven eights and on down the stretch for home. Albert James Albert, Lucky Alberta to the outside from second. They battle down the stretch for the wire. Albert James Albert, Albert James Albert. Albert goes coast to coast for the victory. Finishing second, Lucky Albert. It's tight for show between Twilight Charm and Bell of the Band. Time for the mile, 203 and four. Turning now, the unofficial winner of race number one, that is number five, Albert James Albert, 10-year-old brown pacing gelding by Albert Albert from the Frugal Gourmet Dam, CB Gourmet. Albert James Albert is owned and trained by Seljotis of St. John. Driven to victory by Mark Haig this afternoon. Albert James Albert's ninth victory of 2010. This afternoon comes in a time of 2.03 and 4. Five, Albert James Albert your unofficial race winner. Gates in motion for race two with a work of heart. House of Stars, Crowley Creek, and All-American Dazzle. A field of four behind the gate. And here they come. They're off. Crowley Creek from the outside and on the inside. A work of heart. They're both leaving out. A work of heart coming away with the lead. House of Stars has settled in to be second. Racing in third as they make their way around the opening turn. That is All-American Dazzle and Crowley Creek is the early trailer. They race single file up the PR backstretch for the opening quarter mile station they go. It's a work of heart with Stephen Trites leading it by one and a half lengths. House of Stars looks at it from second past an opening quarter in 31 seconds flat. All-American Dazzle continuing on in third, then Crowley Creek. They continue around that top turn for the 3 8 mile marker they race. A work of heart now leading it by a 
length and three quarters as they take this field off the top turn on down the stretch in front of the stand. First time, no movement yet. It's a work of heart with Stephen Trites with the lead, leading it by a length and a half. House of Stars right there in second, past the half in 103 and 15. Racing in third, All American Dazzling Crowley Creek. Can see them all into the lower turn for the 5 8 mile station and out in front now by a length and three quarters. Once again, a work of heart. There's action on the outside. There goes All American Dazzle now second, now challenging for that lead. House of Stars third on the inside and Crowley Creek has gone to the outside. They race in pairs past the three quarters in 135 and three. A work of heart. Now stepping up the pace up front, racing in second, All-American Dazzle. The Trites brothers are going at it. First and second pass, the seven-eighths off the turn and down the stretch for home. A work of heart, All-American Dazzle and Crowley Creek in the middle of the track. A work of heart trying to go wire to wire and does. It's a work of heart to win it. House of Stars second, finishing third, All-American Dazzle. Time for the mile, 206 and 1. Here is the official winner of race number two. That's number two, a work of heart. A four-year-old bay pacing mare by Neutralize from the Secret Service Dam, Avon Lynette. Work of Heart is owned by Ken Fudge and Paul Dares of St. John. Trained by Ken Fudge. Driven to victory by Stephen Trites. Two, a work of heart in 206 and 1. Recording her second victory of 2010. Kid is rolling for race three with Western Hope, Simca, Ruffala, Lira Lira, winning magic and full of finesse. A field of six, top of the stretch, or race three. Here they come. They're off. Simca on the inside going out for that early lead. Ruffala now racing in second. Coming away in third, that's Western Hope as they make their way around the opening turn. As they uh, continue on for the opening eighth, out in front, Simca leads it by a length and a quarter. Racing in second, that is Ruffala, Western Hope looking at it from third. Racing in uh, fourth is Lira Lira. Then comes Winning Magic and Full of Finesse, your early trailer. As they make their way, Simca has made a break. Now the new leader is Ruffala, past an opening quarter in 31 and 1. Ruffala now the new leader by a length and three quarters. Western Hope now racing in second. Looking at it from third, that is Lira Lira, followed around that turn by uh, Winning Magic, Full of Finesse, and uh, after the break at the back of the pack, that is Simca. Now down the lane in front of the stand. First time and Ruffalo with Mark Hag takes him on past the half mile station in 102 and 3. Western Hope eyes and now goes to the outside from second. Following that cover round the turn. That's full of finesse. Now challenging for third spot. Racing in fourth and skimming the cones on the inside. That is Lira Lira. And that is, West, that is winning magic at the back of the pack. Simca is out of it. They race up the PR backstretch for the three-quarter mile station in Ruffala. Maintaining a lead of a three parts of a length. Three quarters reached in 134 flat. It's Ruffala now turning it on on the front end. Western Hope. Lira Lira now again second spot. And now challenges for that lead on the outside. They have an eighth of a mile left to 
go. Ruffala on the outside. Lira Lira down the stretch. They come for the wire. Lira Lira and Ruffala neck and neck for the wire. It's going to be Ruffala to hang on. Ruffala wins it, finishing second. Lira Lira. It's tight for show. Time for the mile 204 flat. Returning with his second winner on the program is Mark Haig. This time it's with number three, Ruffala, 10-year-old Bay Pacing Mare by Center Strip from the No Nukes Dam, Raisin Ruckus. Ruffala is owned by Jean-Marie Otis of St. John, trained by Serge Otis, driven directory by Mark Haig. Three, Ruffala in 204, recording her fourth victory of 2010. Three, Ruffala, your unofficial race winner. The gate swings round the turn with Paco Derry, Dusty Lane Oscar, BioLink, Skill Factor, and Artistry. A field of five behind the gate. Here they come. They're off from the outside. Artistry leaving out for that early lead. And Paco Derry under a drive in along the rail. They battle on for that lead. And Artistry now pokes a nose in front. Paco Derry racing in second. Coming away in third, that's Dusty Lane Oscar. Around the turn, Skill Factor following in fourth. And BioLink is your early trailer. And Artistry has made the front end. Now leading it by a length and a half. Racing in second, that is Paco Paco Derry passed an opening quarter in 30 and 1 fifth. Dusty Lane Oscar looking at things from third to the outside. There goes early action. Skill factor now third, now second, and going on to challenge that leader. Following that live cover bio link, then Dusty Lane Oscar is the new trailer. They race off the turn down the lane in front of the stand first time. And Rick Armstrong has artistry still on the lead by one length. Racing in second is Skill Factor past a half in one minute three fifths. They race in pairs up front. Artistry now leading it by three parts of a length. Skill Factor second on the outside. Looking at it from third, Paco Derry and BioLink fourth on the outside and Dusty Lane Oscar gets underway from the back of the pack. They race up the PR backstretch and they battle on for that lead with Artistry on the inside. Skill Factor second on the outside past the three quarters in one third 31 and 1. It is Artistry by a half length. Racing in the second skill factor. And Dusty Lane Oscar now tips three wide and prepares for the stretch drive. It's Artistry on the inside. Skill factor between horses and Dusty Lane Oscar and fanning out four wide by a length. Dusty Lane Oscar. Artistry on the inside. Right down to the wire. It's going to be Dusty Lane Oscar to win it. Artistry second looks like. Skill Factor got the show. Time for the mile 201 and 4. Judges have called for a show photo. Please hold all tickets. And now returning the unofficial winner, race number four, number two, Dusty Lane Oscar. Six-year-old Bay Pace and Gelding by Pans to Reason. The Water Monster Dam Dusty Lane Lynn. Dusty Lane Oscar is owned by Robbie Tate of Colpit Settlement. Trained by Chris Davies, driven to victory by Todd Trites. Third consecutive victory for the six-year-old. Recording his 14th victory of 2010 to Dusty Lane Oscar in 201 and 4. Now your official race winner. It is moving for race five with Woodmere Quick Peak, OB Viking, Cacafella, Last Dance, Eloquent Desire, 
Six Wild Cherry is scratch. A field of five behind the gate. Here they come. They're off, and Woodmere Quick Peak uh, goes out for that early lead, racing in uh, second. That is OB Viking. Coming away in third, Cacafella, followed round that turn by Last Dance. Your early trailer is Eloquent Desire, and Woodmere Quick Peak has opened up a length. A lead of five open lengths. OB Viking racing in second. Looking at it from third, Cacafella. Racing in fourth, last dance. Your early trailer, Eloquent Desire. They race on past the opening quarter mile station in 29 and four fifths. It is Woodmere Quick Peak in line to Lonnie Stokes. Now the margin only three lengths. Racing in second, OB Viking. Back three more lengths to Cacafella in third. Last dance, racing in fourth, then Eloquent Desire. They race off the turn, down the lane for the half-mile station, and Woodmere Quick Peak has command of this field as they make their way on past the half. In one minute, one-fifth. OB Viking still there in second. There's action on the outside. Cacafella now on the move from third. Racing in fourth and skimming the cones. That is last dance. Racing at the back of the pack. Now that's Eloquent Desire. They race up the PR backstretch for the three-quarter mile station and Woodmere Quick Peak. Now to be joined on the front end. On the outside, OB Viking is mounting a challenge past the three-quarters in 1.30 and 3. It's Woodmere Quick Peak. OB Viking on the outside. Now the new leader by a length. Woodmere Quick Peak trying to battle back from second. On a racing in third. Now tipping to the outside. Last dance. It's OB Viking taking the field down the lane for the wire. Last dance is surging in deep stretch. OB Viking. Last dance on the outside at the wire. It's too close to call. They are noses apart between OB Viking and Last Dance will need a picture. Time for the mile, two minutes, two-fifths. Here's the winner of race number five. That is number four, Last Dance. Seven-year-old bay pacing mare by Matt Scooter from the Wada Baron Dam, Wada Tron. Owned by Bob McLeod of Moncton. Trained by Ron Chamberlain. Driven to victory by Jill Berrio for Last Dance. In a quick two minutes and two-fifths. Now your official race winner. And for Last Dance, her ninth victory of 2010. The field lines up and is in motion for race six with Slim and Sleek. Climb the ladder. I wish, I wish. Ryan's Fancy, Nellie's Money, EJ's Quest, and George Down. A field of seven. Top of the stretch for race six. Here they come. They're off. Climb the ladder and on the inside, Slim and Sleek. They're both going out for that early lead. Slim and Sleek comes away with the lead. Racing in second. Climb the ladder. Racing in third. That's Ryan's fancy. I wish, I wish has gone to a break. Nellie's Money coming away in fourth. Racing in fifth. EJ's Quest pacing once again. I wish, I wish. George Down is your early trailer. They race up the EPR backstretch with the inquiry sign is up on the tope. 
board with Slim and Sleek and Mike Downey past the opening quarter in 30 and 4 fifths. It is Slim and Sleek racing in a second. That's climb the ladder. Ryan's Fancy looks things over from third. Racing in fourth and eyeing the outside. That is Nelly's Money. EJ's Quest gets underway trying to flush out that cover and does. They race off the turn down the lane for the half mile station. It is Slim and Sleek. The leader by a length and a half. Climb the ladder racing in second. They're past the half in 102 flat. Now third on the outside. That's Nelly's Money. Ryan's Fancy back in fourth. Racing second over in fifth. EJ's Quest followed by I Wish. I Wish. And the trailer is George Down. They race on past the five eights. Off the turn and down the back stretch. For the three quarter mile station. And Slim and Sleek has opened up a lead of three lengths. Racing in second. Climb the ladder. Third on the inside. Ryan's Fancy. Past the three quarters in 132 and four. And down he goes to work on Slim and Sleek. Climb the ladder. Trying to close the gap from second. Third on the outside. Nelly's Money now. Inches closer to the front end. They pass the seven eights. Off the turn and down the stretch for home. It's Slim and Sleek. Nelly's Money on the outside. EJ's Quest. And I wish, I wish. It's EJ's Quest. Nelly's Money right down to the wire. It's going to be EJ's Quest to win it. Finishing second. Nelly's Money. It's tight for show between Slim and Sleek. And I wish, I wish. Time for the mile 203 and 2. Turning with the second winner on the program is Jill Barrio, this time with number six, EJ's Quest, for your old Bay Pacing Gelding, by Stargaze Hanover from the Burnin' Burnin' Dam, Miss Burnin'. Owned and trained by Kevin Brown of St. John, EJ's Quest, driven to victory by Jill Barrio, 203 and 2 this afternoon, for EJ's Quest, fifth victory of 2010. Six, EJ's Quest, your unofficial race winner. Quarry sign remains up. The gate swings round the turn with Choco Duriso, Mark Haig, Rockstar Bayama, Sam Hodgen, Thomasville Bodine, Scott Hubbard, Dallet Appeal, Todd Trites, Magnetic Benka, Jill Berrio. A field of five behind the gate. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Rockstar by Emma shoots out of there to grab the early lead. Choco Duriso racing in second. And from the outside, Magnetic Benka is on the move. Now racing in second, now challenging for that lead. Racing in third, Choco Duriso. Then comes Thomasville Bodine and Valid Appeal, your early trailer. Magnetic Benka, the new leader, leads it by a length and three quarters. Rockstar by Emma racing in second. And Thomasville Bodine gets underway from fourth. Their opening quarter was 29 and four fifths. It's Magnetic Benka leading it by two open lengths. Racing in the second. That's Rockstar by Emma. Thomasville Bodine commits to race first over from third. Racing in fourth. Choco du Ruisseau. And at the back of the pack, Valid Appeal. They race down the lane first time. And Magnetic Benka with Jill Berrio past the half in 59 and three fifths. They race in pairs up front. Magnetic Benka, Thomasville Bodine second on the outside. Rockstar by Emma getting the good trip in third. Following a second over in fourth, Choco Duriso. Then Valid Appeal tipping three wide from the back of the pack. It's Magnetic Benka by a length and a half still maintaining that lead. Now under Barrio urging past the three quarters in 130 and one. It's Magnetic Benka racing in second. Rockstar by Emma. Valid Appeal three wide round that turn. 
turn. It's Magnetic Banka widening that margin by two and a half lengths. Off the turn and down the stretch for home. Magnetic Banka, Rockstar by Emma. Magnetic Banka in deep stretch. Magnetic Banka at the wire. It's going to be Magnetic Banka to win it. Finishing second, Choco de Ruisseau. Third was Rockstar by Emma. Time for the mile, two minutes, two fifths. Now returning, the unofficial winner of race number seven, number five, Magnetic Benka. Ten-year-old pacing gelding by Happy Family from the Tyler B. Dam Magic Puff. Magnetic Benka is owned by Ray Fraser of Moncton, trained by Gilles Berrio. Driven to victory by Gilles Berrio, his third winner on the program. On hand for the presentation. And winning picture is Ray Fraser's wife, Verna. Magnetic Benka's lifetime 66th win. Five. Magnetic Benka in two minutes, two fifths. Now your official race winner. Kate is rolling for race eight with KG Duke, Fun on a Star, Camco Wynette, Dream of Riches, Canico Quickset, Connolly CC, and Found Wanting. The final dash of 2010 is at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off from the far outside. Found Wanting is leaving out. On the inside, KG Duke. They battle on for that early lead. It's Found Wanting now coming away with that early lead. Racing in second, KG Duke. Fun on a star has come away in third. Racing fourth and on the move. On the outside, that's Campco Wynette. Dream of Riches looks at it from fifth. Sixth on the outside, Connolly CC Canico Quickset is your early trailer. There's early action as they make their way on past the opening quarter in 30 and two-fifths. It's found wanting, leading it by a length and a half. Camco Wynette second on the outside, racing third and along the rail. KG Duke, fun on a star, gets underway from fourth, now racing second over. Connolly CC following that outer flow in fifth. Then comes Canico Quickset, dream of riches on the inside. They race down the lane and on past the Half mile station and Stephen Trites with found wanting is past there in one minute four fifths. Racing second on the outside, Camco Wynette. KG Duke gets the good trip from third. Fun on a star is poised to attack from a second over and goes three wide. There goes Fun on a star, now third, now second and challenging for that lead on the inside. That's found wanting Fun on a star, three wide path, now second and battling back between horses is Camco Wynette. Three Three quarters is reached in 132 and 2. On the inside, found wanting by three parts of a length. Camco Wynette still right there and has been parked every step of the way in second. Racing in third and looking for racing room. KG Dugan, Fun on a Star fans out for the stretch drive. It's found wanting. Fun on a Star and on the far outside. Canico Quickset. KG Duke in along the rail surges at late and the Birthday boy, KG Duke. They win the final dash of 2010. Time for the mile, 203 and 2. Turning now, the unofficial winner of race number 8. That's number 1, KG Duke. Five-year-old bay pacing gelding by Arts Place from the Western Hanover Dam right on. KG Duke is owned, trained and driven by Rick Armstrong of Rossay. Victorious this afternoon, 2-0-3-2. Recording KG Duke's seventh victory of 2010. Very appropriate that it comes on Mr. Armstrong's birthday. 56 years young today. Rick Armstrong, congratulations to owner-trainer-driver Rick Armstrong, E.G. Duke, now your official winner in 203-2. and two.